I mean, if we'll find that HVT we're looking for with the special forces, then I will uh, activate a no-fire area on the respective um, NAI, the named area of interest. So you'll know pretty much which which is the where the center of gravity will will uh, divert to. And now. In short, uh, we have three phases for close air support. The phase one is shaping conditions, and that's where Dragon is uh, coming in with Axe. And you, you, your first task is to clear the route between NAI-1 up north uh, up to NAI-7, and that's a valley. If we'll clear that route, the MI-8s with Shark will have a secure route for exfil and, uh, and then exit out of this, uh, this Ross to the south. So uh, you'll be supported by the Panther from above. They will be screening us from the threats that may come from the eastern portion of the Ross. And uh, in that time, Grizzly uh, will hold in holding area 9 or holding area 10. Both are three minutes out of the northern NAIs, which I believe will be the center of gravity. So um, the, eight, uh, the holding area... I mean, both of them are screened by the ridge lines, so you will be safe and uh, pretty much you will be able to retain your speed and then reactively get in, take the HVT and, and soft out of the, out of the um, action. I mean, yeah, like pick them up. Then phase two. Uh, we'll be doing the direct action. So phase two is direct action. Dragon and Shark are acting in support of Sof. Uh, Grizzly is extracting, and uh, Fixed Wings above are dealing with the uh, artillery if they'll find them, or they are screening. They continue with just with the screen. And for phase three is extraction. Shark escorts Grizzly out of the Ross, and Dragon maintains security. So Dragon will be the one, the the, the last one to leave the the scene. And that's it. Three phases, very simple. Shaping conditions, engagement, and extraction. If you have any questions, I'm pending questions. Junior, just for your information, uh, Grizzly and Shark will start working on their uh, first tasking, and then we'll be we will be waiting for a word from you to proceed towards uh, SOF Exfil, right? Exactly. Um, what's more, there was an, uh, an information in uh, JTAC coordination that you are supposed to go through the holding area uh, Agara. And uh, for you and Grizzly, I mean Shark and Grizzly, that doesn't count. You guys go straight for holding area 9 or holding area 10, whichever you believe is more, more suitable for you. And then report en route on primary uh, or no, on secondary cast frequency that will be less busy and uh, you shouldn't interrupt any active attacks. Okay. So uh, report uh, proceeding towards uh, the holding area on cast strike frequency, right? Exactly. Copy. Okay. I wish I could fly with you, though. <laughs> but we'll blow things up from the, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, okay. everyone. Hey. Hey. <clears throat> All right. So if you have no more questions for me, then I'll be I'll be going. Need to put my rifle together and, you, you know, just get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Need to put my rifle together and, you, you know, just get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Need to All put right, my cheers. rifle together. Have fun, guys. Thanks. Yeah. All right, Rotaries, uh, open up your MDC and let's go through it quickly. Let right. me know when you have uh, eyes on the first new board file. Three, two. Grizzly. Kim Lion, you have eyes on? Uh, stand by. Yep. 
Okay, so um, today we're going to be taking off from Farb Dallas. Uh, for contact, let's uh, use the Farb Dallas frequency if we can't establish contact on any other frequencies. Uh, so let's be on 127.5 to establish contact between each other. Our alternative FARP is FARP Madrid. We're going to be passing it uh, while we're flying. Alternative airfield, if needed, is Vaziani, but it's very far away, so it's unlikely that we're going to land there. Shark con flight consists of Inigo and Sylvan. And uh, from FARP Dallas, we're going to be taking only two times fuel tanks. Uh, this is to ensure that when we arrive at FARP Madrid, and uh, we don't spend any extra time for refueling. We're, we will only rearm, and then we continue as fast as possible. Copy. Operating in ROZ will be the following flights. There will be X and Dragon flights providing cast support, Grizzly flight uh, providing troops and uh, cast evac, and then Hawk flight uh, providing seats uh, as needed. Our frequencies will be as follows. Our package frequency will be channel 7. This is for Grizzly and Shark. We're, we'll be communicating in, on that frequency between each other and then using our extra radios for interflight comms. You can also see there are two CAS uh, frequencies. First one is the coordination frequency and the second one is the strike frequency. Uh, on our en route, as JTEC just commanded us, we will going to inform him on the strike frequency. And then we're probably going to stay there until uh, further notice. When we take um. off, we're going to push AVEX frequency just for a check-in. And that's pretty much what we need. Our route will be as follows. We're taking off from Farb Dallas. Then we're heading towards holding area 04. All KF-50s should have uh, their map populated with holding areas and battle positions, so shouldn't be uh, hard to find. Question. Question, From the... uh, Yep. Uh, no mention of the side mission to Kashuri. I uh, thought we are going to Kashuri first to clear out the, you know, the spring load that the Grizzly have to do. Yes, that's going to be our first uh, arrival point at Kashuri. Okay, sorry. So from holding area 4, we're going to proceed to Madrid and then uh, rearm there and refuel if, if, uh, as needed. For Grizzly flight, I expect endurance of 1 hour 45 minutes max. So load up on fuel as uh, you see him fit. From far Madrid, we're going to be separating uh, from Dragonfly. Dragonfly will proceed through a corridor heading north uh, towards a Kashuri, I think, uh, or a Cassia. It is going to be the con contact point for the JTAC. So at that point, Dragon, you switch to cast coordination frequency, Coral 3, and try to establish contact with uh, the JTAC. Okay. Meanwhile, Shark and Grizzly are going to proceed to Kashuri. Uh, we're going to be departing west, going around the mountains, and then heading to Kashuri. After we are done at Kashuri, or if Razor calls us, uh, we're going to proceed to raise directly to Razor location. Razor is the active JTAC in the area, and he has full authority in the ROZ. Two extra waypoints are depicted in the kneeboard. Those are uh, holding areas for Grizzly, most likely. Um, the first holding area, 09, is west 300 miles of Razor. It, it's easily identified because it is located just behind a hill west from Razor location. The northern uh, holding point is similar, just there is uh, some mountains north from Razor positions, which are a little bit further away. There are six nautical miles. We will fence in and out uh, while traveling to Kashuri. Jok and Bingo are stated there as well. KF-50's endurance is estimated to be 1 hour 30 minutes uh, from taking off from Farp Madrid. Okay, next slide. Shaq Bramley tasking is escorting Grizzly. Um, on our travel, we're going to... Oh, by the way, Dragon, are you going to be traveling with us, right? Yep. 
Uh, on our travel, we'll have the following formation. Um, Dragon will be five minutes in front of us, and then uh, Grizzly will have the direct escort pattern with uh, uh, with uh, sh uh, yeah, with Shark. Uh, more on that a little bit later. Let's proceed to target air information. We're, we're going to be operating in South Ossetia, uh, western part of South Ossetia. Air description, this is an open, open fields area with small hills throughout, uh, which can be used for concealment. Uh, South Ossetia, the region itself is surrounded by high, high mountains. And there is a lot of scattered settlements uh, throughout, which we will try to evade during our travels. During our trial to Razor from Kashuri, uh, we will have to watch out for Objective Deborah, which is one of the enemy emplacements, which will be to the west, uh, or yeah, to the west while we will travel to Razor's location. Uh, question. Yep. Is Razor's location known uh, at mission start, or will they announce their position underway? It is known at, at mission start. You can see in the first kneeboard we have weapon number five, which is la Razor's location. Copy. Where is that on the now? Oh, okay, sir. Okay, copy. Enemy strength, strength is estimated mobile mobilized enemy infantry, tanks, shilkas, SA-15, SA-8, and artillery. Okay, let's go to the spins. On our travel, we'll try to maintain 200 uh, kilometers per hour and 600 meters AGL. Uh, the 600 meters AGL will not count when we are passing the mountains. We don't want to climb too high, be in a threat zone of any SAMs in the area. When, when we are, after we rearm and refuel at Farb Dallas, we're going to assume the res direct escort pattern with uh, Shark and Grizzly, meaning that one K K50 is in front and one is behind with one kilometer distance uh, between Grizzly. Wingman will be a little bit higher, going at 100-300 meters AGL, and uh, Grizzly and flight lead of Shark will be below 100 meters AGL. One thing to note is a uh, hasty hold brevity. If flight lead the front KF-50 notices any threats in the area, he will call a hasty hold, which will be which will mean that uh, Grizzly flight and KF-50 and Shark wingman will go low level and establish a wheel hold with um, Shark 32 being on the outside circle providing security. For our landing zone entry, the spin is as follows. Uh, attack helicopters will go into a wheel hold with one kilometer overhead uh, wheel hold pattern, providing security while um, Grizzly will land in the LZ. Guarding uh, Razor, JTAC Razor, uh, we, will, we will proceed to Razor directly from Koshuri, not from entry via contact point Agara. Only Dragon will enter, uh, will go to Razor via the contact point Agara. And Dragon, you will notice their holding area quite easily because it will be just north from Dallas, the first circle that you approach. Copy. Exit from the area will be by JTAC instructions uh, with reporting on our positions. Uh, operating ceiling within the ROZ is 5,000 feet uh, MSL. And uh, Razor location and uh, the high value target location, if announced, will have a no fire zone of spanning of 0 0.5 nautical miles. Okay, and that's it for me. We already reviewed JTAC plan with uh, the JTAC. So I think. Uh, we're good to go. Any questions? Nothing from me. Uh, nope. the uh, <clears throat> for the uh, the escort overwatch position, what's the procedure for announcing threats? 
the incoming fire or uh, SAMs or tracers or. If you see any tracers or, or SAMs, uh, first call should be a break call. So the break left and right and then announce what kind of threat you have, either tracers, uh, SAM launch or uh -huh. anything. Mm -hmm. And that goes out, <clears throat> obviously, to reach. Uh, I would have to put that out on package, right? Yes, preferably, yes. So, um, rotary flights, when you go into pit, let's check in on package frequency, which is uh, channel 7, black 7. And once we separate, we will go... Uh, Dragon will go their own internal frequency. We will do intercoms in uh, shortwave, the KI-50s. Is that all right with you? Yep. Fine by me. Hope it works. If we can't establish contact on uh, channel 7, let's use the far frequency 127.5 to establish contact initially. Totally. Is Black 7 still the preset 7 in the KI-50? Yes. <laughs> yes, good. All right, guys. Uh, see you in pit. Awesome. Right. Channel switched. Microphone Sound muted. Sound muted.
this uh, uh, autistic guy am. <laughs> no, it's a pressing thing, remembering it without... I mean, when did you last start up an MIA? I can't really remember. Alright, no loadout, right? Just full view? Yeah, I'll just full view the one, the front chap on uh, part of Dallas, the front
Driving shark. Are you ready to take off? Yep, ready for takeoff. Dragon, you're clear for takeoff. Chuck and Will Zero will follow you in five miles. Report when you are in the first holding area according to your flight plan. Copy, Will Co. Yeah, what you want? Shut up. 
Chapter 1 is turning to go around the mountain heading 300. I'm turning heading 305. Copy that, it's 31. This is busy. We have padlocks on you, so you don't really need to call these changes. 31.
after this mountain descent.
flight. We're gonna have to overfly the mountain heading to six zero. Casting on um, uniform rather than Fox Mike. Fix that. Shot 2 1 Grizzly 2 1 uh, blind on you, uh, visual disregard. Fox Star Hawk 3 in hot SA 8 CAS AO. Dragon Shark Looks like we've got a rapid descent Dragon, uh, we're splitting up, you're free to switch your Fox mic to your preset Cruiser Dragon, we're going to uh, land on the closest farp Grizzly copy, so what's your landing plan? I'm blind on you at this time. Grizzly lands first, Dragon will uh, set up a wheel hold over the farp. Copy, we're gonna land on the further farp if that's alright, we can make a straight in approach from here. To just prepare for a rapid descent and diesel. Alright, approved. Copy approved. Three one, three two to rejoin on you. And uh, if I'm to take the right hand forward and feed you rejoining. Copy right hand forward, look out. Disregard, there's already an aircraft on that right hand back into the front rear. Copy right. 3 2 visual. I didn't know there's two parts, how convenient. Um, I am um, good to continue uh, 
Treaty report when ready, 3-1 will proceed towards the AL. Treaty U.S. will escort the cruise in. Yeah, Cabra, depending on your remaining rota, uh, might want to consider Joe going. Yeah, do I have the status on the uh, SCAR flight? Right, so yeah, one is heading to the tanker now, and the A10s are so on station. And uh, two of the KFX are checking right now. Yeah, and uh, for the uh, armed group AR mission. AR is currently minus one, and uh, took off at about 25 minutes later. So they're halfway up to the hill, I don't know if he's waiting for his number two. Sharp, sure. uh, Bruce, sharp. Sure. Sure. Okay, Mark 3, copy that, uh, then we push to clear the uh, AR AO. Cool, Bruce. Sure. I should come. Uh, never mind, we will continue uh, to get us further ahead, we still have some time to travel. Armed and refueled, airborne, on your six special. Grizzly, uh, Grizzly, take off. Grizzly. Formation will be as follows 3 1 in the front, 1 kilometer spacing, Grizzly, 1 kilometer spacing, 3 2. 3 2, 3 2, 1, go for action. 3 2, copies, 2 2, as usual, 3 1. Continue flying in the valley, I'm going to pop up for some reconnaissance.
Осторожно, командир! Oh yeah, you hooked, you hooked. 
SA-15 has been engaged but is not destroyed. Uh, Hawk 3 is currently refueling ETA to Mike's and we are continuing to destroy the sand sea in Scholar.
back. Uh. You probably need centimeters. Yeah, Roger. Left, left, zero with zero. Three, two. I mean, you're close enough for me to maybe not really help. You look better two, about just slightly forward and left, maybe. Three, one, go. Body spike 18, we are at 24,000 pulls, 152 for 38. Welcome to uh, body lock, sorry for that. 316 speed. 235, take left, heading north. 22, go. Yeah. One left here. Uh, this one's much lighter. Forward. Forward. Yeah. 
Sam Launch, Sam Launch, SA 15, Sam Launch. Shark 3-2, uh, Grizzly 2-1, we've lost 3-1 off the game, I think. Uh, affirmative Grizzly, he just disappeared. Um, Alright, so... I am thoroughly unprepared for this. And uh, not completely sure if I will be able to resume the mission and be of any form of assistance to you as it is. Uh, currently trying to build my SA, we'll report back to them by give me, give me some uh, minutes to read <laughs> the documentation. Copy that, I mean I don't think it's too big a job, as long as you've got the nav points for HA10 and HA11, uh, correction 9 and 10, if you can get us to one of those nav points and check in with the JTAC, he'll then tell you what to do, and we'll listen to the JCAC freak, freak and he'll tell us when to go in and pick up the troops, so it's, it's quite a simple mission. It's just the nav that's important. Uh, Alright, copy that. I will check my maps and uh, get back to you in a couple of minutes. Stand by. Two from one ops check. Uh, one for two, uh, two is in the green field, is two, the correction, um, one eight, maybe one seven. Alright, Grizzly, Shark 32, I have a fix on both holding areas. I think I will be able to guide you there and provide overwatch while you do your thing. Uh, Am I understand correctly that you will be in uh, radio contact with the JTAC uh, on site? Uh, copy that can be. Um, I was planning to be with Shark 31 as the primary communicator, but I can communicate myself. Uh, I recommend that you and I go JTAC frequency and uh, Grizzly 21 go to correction 22 goes stays on Dark Star. Um, will you lead us up to the uh, Hotel Alpha Zero uh, Hotel Alpha Zero Nine? Uh, we'll wait in Alpha 09 then until we're called in by JTAC. Our copy. Copy that. To Hotel Alpha 09, uh, push to JTAC frequency. Just for funsies, uh, what would be the JTAC frequency? Uh, I've got two frequencies for him 239 or decimal 750. Uh, I guess we'll use that then because uh, that would be my BHF to which is available. Okay, roger. Okay, well I'm going to check in with Darkstar and request to push to JTAC and then we'll head inbound. How copy? Copy, sounds good. I will do my best. Okay, so uh, I will be joined and stay behind you guys. That sounds good. Uh, I'd rather you were ahead of us, but if there's any sort of tracer or ground attack, you, you take it, not us. Fair enough, all right, taking off, and, uh... Well, you know, he's got more armor than we have. All right. Yeah, sorry about that, but you've got more armor than we have. <laughs> uh, fair enough. And in your case, it's just one guy dying. We have three in the cockpit. True, true. <laughs> okay, so, Grizzly, I am at your 9 o'clock uh, approximately level. Uh, we will be flying... A heading of 010. Copy head 010, we'll follow you in. Dark side, Grizzly 21. Uh, dark side, Grizzly 21, be advised a shark flight is down to a single aircraft, Shark 32, who's going to provide watch for Grizzly 2. Uh, Grizzly flight requesting push now frequency for JTAC. Frequency changed to the 
Chief for Razor and be advised that missing 2-2 will remain on the dock. Stop the shore on zero, make sure you use that one to lock him if needed. Copy that. Fox, I got And confirm the frequency we mentioned before, JTAC was 239.5. decimal Stand by, just confirming the frequency. Maintaining 
025 at 230. You're gonna shift left after this ridge. Crystal copy. Hey, two of you see shit like that, do call it on package so uh, Shark knows about it too. Shark 31 for Shark 32 on. Dark Star Walk 32, egress, Falk 3132. Go ahead. I'm 15 on the Hawk 3. Uh, so, uh, we just spotted another SAT 15 is going active at the moment. We'll continue without me at this time. Falk 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 Shark 32 Grizzly 21 blind on you, current heading 360. Grizzly, this is Shark, I'm also heading 360. I've got to make an altitude of 150. Copy, I got you, Bajor, see you, Flash, thanks. Falcon from Hawk 32, just confirm me low down. Falcon flu. Ah, Falcon okay, Grizzly, holding area 9 is a. Four, five, uh, Grizzly will probably put down on the ground. Three, two copies. Uh, um, stand by. Then your radio comms will be getting ready. Please contact with JTAC, then we'll climb up again. But uh, yeah, so I guess I suggest we remain here until Shark 32. Uh, Falcon 31 is back there. Laser comp. Copy that. So set her down and uh, it wait will be for three, one, copy. We'll extend up the valley two and then come back down land by the river. How copy? We'll one, set three, her down two, on two. the ridge line to her right here. Falcon. Okay, yeah, we can just uh, disregard last, we're gonna land on the ridge line. Two straight trail. Copy. Two, two, four, two, one. Three, one. Three, two, go ahead. Look, I'll show you. I'm gonna 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 show you. I've now pushed onto JTAC frequency Indigo for backup frequency. Indigo 4, uh, Shark 3. And uh, 2 from 1, did you land or are you still behind me? No, I'm with you. Oh, Roger, thank you. Uh, 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 uh,
friendlies and enemy, both in the vicinity of NI-07, which is in the JTAC's uh, briefing docks, and uh, I, although I didn't actually see that area, and um, we're just going to hold here, apparently most of the, uh, the attack is complete, they're going to call us in shortly. Yep, I just heard on now, X, that's the Right. Oh, that's cool. Okay, cool. Uh, whoever's on this frequency, Fox Mike, say again, you're Shark Grizzly 2-1, I lied about the speed, we're doing about 150.
I didn't have any of these NIs in his briefing pack that he published. That's uh, South Welcome to one. Uh, didn't, didn't show <laughs> sure, Mark, it's going back first. That's South Welcome to one. Uh, do you know if uh, we should aim only the artillery strikes, march or red or another metal vehicles? Pattern to save fuel. 
racetrack pattern with the Grizzly currently on your trail. Yeah, rejoin Grizzly. Three two rejoining Grizzly. Start turning in now. Concept. Okay, it'll be green smoke on the ground to the south area Front of the village, heading sure 070. Uh, you're to land by the green smoke, I'll circle. 32 currently separated, unable to uh, visually acquire you.
Arm down to your right, vigil, just forming up. No worries, just head south, head south. Uh, 
Uh, that's a negative. I have about 75 rear and 700 front. Copy that. Can report your cross-feed valve is on? Affirm. Who's the shot passing on your right? Contact any news to our 10 o'clock.
Okay, starting to climb. Grizzly will land at the nearest fault, and Shark will proceed to the further away fault. Grizzly goes nearest. I'll take the front right fault. pad, you take the front right pad. Two front right pad. Shut down and meet you in the briefing. 